quite, quite emotional, didn't quite know, had all these feelings bubbling up inside me and didn't quite know which way to turn. I was uh, fretting about it. The burden would have been absolutely huge because we wouldn't have had anybody to turn to. There would have been a crash, whether it was this end with me, the care, or, or my mother, or both. I don't know, but it couldn't have continued. The CASW team began early last year, initially as a pilot with 23 voluntary practices and that's now been opened up county-wide to all GP practices throughout Northamptonshire. Our aim is to support carers out in the community by visiting them, conducting self-assessments and giving them general support in carrying out their carers' duties. The National Strategy for Carers, which was published by the government in 2008, has fed down to a local strategy. There's been lots of commitments come from this strategy. One of those is to raise awareness with GP surgeries, which is the theme that our CASWA team is concentrating on. Based on the last census figures, we can safely predict that there's going to be approximately a 16% increase of carers in Northamptonshire, which means there's going to be around 68,000 carers needing services. If this project wasn't to be taken forward, that's not just 68,000 carers that are losing out, but it's they're cared for that aren't being signposted to the help and support that they need also. I didn't really see my role as a carer, I was just a daughter looking after her mum as any daughter would do. I know I was feeling really stressed and emotional and I didn't even know that there was any support or care groups out there who could help. I went to see Dr Smart and he assessed mum and at the same time he was very helpful because he then put my name down as the main carer for my mum and then referred us on. It wasn't until the, I had the assessment and then the support worker out that I realised that there was the support there for me being a carer in that capacity. As a practice, we've tried to be as supportive as we can be of the Carers Project. Many of us, including myself, have had previous experience of carers. We felt this was really important, partly because of personal experience, and secondly, because just recognising the huge amount of work and saving that the carers provide to the NHS, that we may be there for 10 minutes, occasionally for a consultation, but it's a carer who's there 24-7. One of the advantages we found with working with the CASWAS workers is how they can actually improve access to people's knowledge of what services are out there, in particular things like finances, access to disability uh, paths for the Borough Council. Those would be two key things I could see, but it's also support, the emotional support that people have, of feeling somebody alongside them, somebody listening, hearing their story. And that, I think, has been a huge asset. As a GP, the challenge really, I think, for the future is to really recognise the key place carer and patients have as part of the whole process of providing healthcare. So if the carers weren't getting appropriate support and they pulled out, then the NHS will be bankrupt overnight. So I think the message for um, other GPs going out um, and, and in the future is that our, so we've had certainly a very positive experience involving carers and in the past I think we may have, you know, rightly in a way, we had nothing to, we can offer. So in a way it may have been ignored but I think now there is a service where people can get benefit and now because of the need that's going to be increasing out there, let's grasp this opportunity and if we don't use this service then we're likely to lose it. What's been great about having the CASMA team is that um, they've helped us to focus a little bit on the importance of um, helping carers to do what they wish to do and to do indeed what they feel they ought to do, but in a very positive way. It's formalised something which has been lacking, certainly in this practice and quite possibly in others, and that is a recognition of the importance of carers, uh, an appreciation of their role, bringing together all the threads of support that uh, 
are necessary for the efficient and comfortable safety of patients in a cared for role through their carers. As part of the pilots, one of the more important elements that we identified was that it is not sufficient just to have notices up. It is not sufficient to have a section on the um, website about carers. Uh, one has to be a little more proactive and allow people to identify themselves as carers. And that can be done obviously by the receptionist, but also in the consultation. A lot of them don't think of themselves as carers, they're just doing what they should do as a spouse, as a daughter, as a relative, as a neighbour. And uh, therefore they wouldn't think perhaps of, of making use of the facilities and the support group. If we hadn't have been referred, the burden would have been absolutely huge because we wouldn't have had anybody to turn to. We would have sort of struggled to find a way to cope with mum's dementia. So for me, I think it would have impacted hugely on my family life, my working life. With the support of the care team, they've sort of helped us enormously with the emotional side and the practical side of things. In hindsight, I feel that my situation as a carer could have been picked up earlier. Flags were being waved, um, bells were being rung, but there was nobody there. It wasn't picked up at all. I was approaching the surgery on, on a regular basis, in person. They should have seen the difficulty I was, I was going through and the situation that I was in. And I think if they were more aware of carers and so forth, it would have been picked up a lot earlier. My GP surgery does have a carer's register, and of course I'm registered, and so on. Unfortunately, my mother's doesn't. I think if they were more proactive, they could have uh, seen this situation and stepped in a lot, lot earlier. Over the last few years, the pilot study has shown that if we recognize the fact that a patient is actually a care early, and that's not just the GPs doing that, but it's across the whole primary um, care health teams, and actually are able to ta be proactive in, in managing their um, issues for us to be able to better support them, we know that, that that will actually benefit not only their situation, but actually the whole health and social care economy. The barriers for this particular scheme going forward are, are actually just GPs still not picking up on the fact that they're recognizing that some patients are carers. And I think that that will be a journey. We have a, a very well-established educational program for GPs and practice nurses, um, and we'll make sure that this is part of that agenda to, to ensure that we raise awareness for this um, scheme. This case it's, uh, seems to completely stack up. It's a win-win across the board and ultimately it's what's right. It's the right thing to do.